Today I had a four gang rocker switch and this two gang rocker switch here that was crooked sitting off sideways. One, I figured out how to do the four way switch and then switch to show you a quick goofy. way. Now you can turn off the power first to make this a lot safer, but here's how you can get it done real fast. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Now there's a lot that Canon often does go wrong with these rocker switches. I showed you about how there's sometimes lemons and how to prevent, uh, you know, uh, installing a lemon. Um, but today I'm showing you how to straighten one out. Now you don't want to use any sharp tool. You want to use something that's blunt and flat and then avoid pushing on the switch itself. I'm pushing just on the side here, giving it moderate pressure. This is just a fast, easy way to get it done. It's often the wiring behind that's hooked up to, you know, either to the quick plugs or to side plugs. It's kind of pushing the rocker off at a weird angle. And this is just a fast way to adjust them. Nice and easy. And when you have a four gang switch or a two gang switch or a three, three gang switch, it can be a lot of screws to take it all apart again and try to reset it. Now, of course, things can go wrong. You know, the plate can crack, the, the rocker switch can break. You just need to be prepared to change it out if that happens. This is just, you know, in my opinion, a, a fast, easy way to get the job done and make everything nice and straight. But you do need to understand that, you know, it can cause something to go, go wrong. You need to be aware of that. Uh, and it may be preferable to turn off the power before doing this repair, but this is a fast, easy way to get it done. And again, it's a good idea to use a, a tool that won't leave any marks. You know, something blunt, something uh, flat, you know, something insulated, uh, preferably something insulated. For me, that was uh, my six in one, just pulling out the screwdriver bit and using the rounded flat edge you know, holding the insulated handle of the tool worked great. I hope you like this video and that the Kung Fu Maintenance channel serves you well. Uh oh, looking at the outlet behind, it looks like the GFI is tripped. The things I discover while editing my videos, and which means there's going to be no power to the other bathroom outlet. Oh boy. A quick search in my YouTube channel, you should be able to find a bunch of material that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs. Also, links to the tools and parts used in the videos are in the description below.